All right, good morning, boys and girls. It's Wednesday, April 22nd. Welcome to writing class. So today we're going to focus on reviewing our capitalization rules. Let's go ahead and start with our expectations. First, double check to make sure you have a pencil, nice and sharp, and your packet available. Take 10 seconds to do so. Thank you for making sure you're on the right page. All right, go ahead and sit and slant. Three, two, one. So when I say pause, please pause the video and fill out the section. When you are finished filling out the section, you unpause the video. That also goes with if I have a countdown and you're like, whoa, 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 Miss Renteria, you're going too fast then feel free to pause the video so you can work at your own pace. Three, at the end of the video, please complete your exit ticket on Teams. Your exit ticket does match what's on the back. So let's go ahead and spark. Today is Wednesday, so it's a Work It Wednesday. What's one thing that you're working towards improving this week? So I know that I'm working towards being more healthy. Or we should say healthier. Being healthier. How can I accomplish this goal while I'm at home? Well, I can accomplish this by drinking eight servings of water. The more water you drink, the healthier that you usually are. And I already started by drinking half a bottle of my water just now. So go ahead and take a minute. What are you working towards and how will you accomplish this goal? Thirty more seconds you should be working on how you're going to accomplish this goal so that you can make sure you achieve it what little tiny baby steps can you make in your day to make sure you accomplish your goals Okay, let's go ahead and go to our do now. We're gonna talk about proper versus common nouns. We've talked about this before in the past. So a noun is a blank, blank, instead of and it should say or, blank. Go ahead and practice filling that out. What three things could a noun be? Five more seconds. Let's see if your answers ma match mine. So a noun is a person, place, or thing. Kiss your brain if you got that right. So common nouns. Common nouns do not need to be capitalized. So a common noun is a general person, place, or thing. We can say, that's an apple, or this is a boy. This is the glue, it's just very general. 
It could be any boy, it could be any apple, it could be any bottle of glue. So, let's compare that to, or contrast that rather, to proper nouns. Proper nouns do need to be capitalized. What do proper nouns need to be? Thank you, they need to be capitalized. A proper noun names a specific person, place, or thing. So instead of an apple, it's a Macintosh apple. Instead of just a boy, this is Tommy. Instead of glue, the title or the type of glue is Elmer's glue. These are all very specific. What do you notice about these proper nouns? Yes, they all start with a capital letter. Do common nouns start with a capital letter? They don't. So for your do now, let's practice. It says read the sentences. Write a C on the line if the underlined word is a common noun. So if it's a common noun, you're going to write a C. Very good. Write a P if the underlined word or words are a proper noun. What are we going to write if it's a proper noun, meaning that it's a specific person, place, or thing? You're going to write the letter P. Awesome. Go ahead and practice these four examples. I'm going to give you, let's go ahead and do a minute. Again, please pause. if I'm going too fast. Let's see. Thank you, you're working on these four. Also use your anchor charts if you need it. Awesome, 24 more seconds. You should be on number three by now. Three more seconds. Awesome, pencils and part. So let's look at number one. Tomorrow is my friend's birthday. Is birthday common or proper? It's just a general birthday, so it is common. It's a general thing. It is also April Fool's Day. Is this April Fool's Day common or proper? It is proper. It's a very specific thing. It's a specific holiday and it's all capitalized. Awesome. Many people play tricks on one another to celebrate. The word tricks, we see that it's lowercase and also it's just general tricks. It's not a special trick or a very specific trick. So that would be a common noun. Number four, people all over the United States join in the fun. United States, is that common or proper? Common or proper? United States is proper. We know that that is a specific place. Also, we see that United and States are both capitalized. Let's go ahead and move forward. Thank you for flipping your paper. So today our objective, go ahead and track it. Cougar will be able to capitalize words correctly by using mints. So today we're, 
we're going to focus on what words should be capitalized. We're going to take it chunk, chunk by chunk. So M stands for months, days of the week, and holidays. So M stands for what? Awesome. Our instructions are to rewrite the word using proper capitalization. Let's look at the first example. My birthday is in July. Which one of these words should be capitalized? If you said July is capitalized, you're exactly right. Why is July capitalized? July is capitalized because July is the seventh month in the year. And months need to be capitalized. Let's go ahead and go to number two. Monday is a school day. Hmm. Which one of these words should we capitalize? If we know that months, days of the week, and holidays should be capitalized. If you said Monday should be capitalized, then you are exactly right. Why should Monday be capitalized? Monday should be capitalized because it's the first day of the week. Let's go ahead and go to number three. Christmas is not coming soon. Which one of these words should be capitalized? The word Christmas should be capitalized. Why should it be capitalized? Christmas should be capitalized because it's a holiday. I want you to practice four, five, and six by yourself. I'm gonna give you one minute. Which words should be capitalized? We will check in one minute. Awesome, thank you for looking through your sentences to find out, find those months, those days of the week and holidays. There might be more than one word that you need to capitalize in each sentence. So make sure to double check your work, please. Ooh, excuse me. Some 12 more seconds. Okay, let's talk about it. So go ahead and you will put your pencil down and then you can check your work to see if you got all of the letters and all of the words that need to be capitalized. So in number four, it says Christmas is in December. We know that Christmas is a holiday, so it must be capitalized. Are there any other words in the sentence that need to be capitalized? If you said December, you're right. Why should December be capitalized? Because December is a month. It is the 12th month in this in the year. Awesome, let's go to number five. There is no school on Friday. We know that's true. Woo. So, which one of these words should be capitalized? If you said Friday, then you are exactly right. Why is Friday capitalized? Friday is a day of the week. Number six, Halloween is in October. Hmm. First, we need to capitalize Halloween. 
make sure that you capitalize Halloween on your paper. Are we finished? No, what other words can be capitalized in this sentence? If you said October should be capitalized, you are right. Why should October be capitalized? October should be capitalized because it is a month. Very good. So let's go ahead and go to the I in mints. I just means the pronoun I. So whenever we have the word I by itself, then it must be capitalized. So let's go ahead and look at number one. Do I have to go to college? Of course you do. But what, what needs to be capitalized in this sentence? Yes, if you said I needs to be capitalized, you're exactly right. But why does I need to be capitalized? Good, when I is by itself, you need to capitalize it. When it's used as a pronoun, it must be capitalized. Go ahead and do practice with two, three, and four. I bet you can finish this in a minute. Awesome, thank you for reading through your sentences to look for words that need to be capitalized. We know that when I is by itself, it must be capitalized. I bet most of y'all are finished already, but I'm gonna give 20 more seconds to those who need a little more time. Thank you for being patient. Sit and slant if you're finished. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, let's look at number two. I don't like spinach. What should be capitalized? Since I is by itself, also the start of a sentence, we should capitalize it. My friend and I played with cards. This I that is by itself, of course, needs to be capitalized. Number four, I love to read graphic novels. So what needs to be capitalized? The I when it's by itself. Awesome. Let's go ahead and go to N for names. So, N stands for names. And these are names of specific people, places, and things. These are what we call those proper nouns, so specific pe person, place, or things. And we see that proper nouns need to be capitalized. So, which words are proper nouns in our sentences? So let's look at number one. Anna and Elsa want to build a snowman. Hmm. Are there any names of specific people, places, or things in this sentence? I know that Anna is a name. I know that Elsa is a name. So, these two words should be capitalized. Let's look at number two. Go ahead and keep your pencil in your hand. We went to the Alamo for a field trip. Are there any words in this sentence that need to be capitalized? Is there a name of a specific person? No. What about a place? Yes, the Alamo is a place, so we're going to capitalize Alamo. Awesome. Let's look at number three. I know a lot of our students in third grade love snow leopards. So snow leopards are are a oof, a beautiful creature. So let's make this a better sentence. 
we can say snow leopards are beautiful creatures. I apologize for that. Snow leopards are beautiful creatures. What should be capitalized? Are there any specific people? What about a name of a place? What about a thing? Yes, snow leopards are a specific thing. They're a specific animal. So we must capitalize that. Snow leopards. Awesome. I want you to go ahead and practice four, five, and six. I know in these examples, you'll find more than one word to capitalize, so be very careful. I'm gonna give you one minute to practice four, five, and six. What names of specific people, places, and things need to be capitalized? Thank you, we're gonna start. Thank you for capitalizing your proper nouns. Thank you for capitalizing names of people. Thank you for capitalizing names of places. Okay, you have about 20 more seconds. You should have nine capital letters. Double check yourself. Okay, let's talk about it. Did Olaf find Samantha in Arendelle? I bet you can guess what movie I just saw. A little Frozen 2. So, we know that Olaf is a name. Samantha is another name. Arendelle is a place. That's where they live. So if you got all three, you're amazing. I go to school at Idea Carver Academy. We know that Idea Carver Academy is a proper noun because it's a specific place. That is the specific school that we all go to. So Idea Carver Academy, all three words should be capitalized. I live in San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas is a very specific place. So it should all be capitalized. San Antonio, Texas. Awesome. I bet you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all nine capital letters. Wow. Let's go ahead and go to T for titles. So we always capitalize titles of books, movies, and TV shows. All right. So let's look at number one. The Lorax is a terrific book. What is the title of the book? The Lorax. So it should be capitalized. Anna and Elsa are in Frozen. What should be capitalized? Frozen should be capitalized. Why should it be capitalized? Frozen is the name of the movie. So on number three, tell me what show you like to watch. So I like to watch something. On Disney Plus, there's a really cute show that I like to watch with my nephews called Bluey. 
So I like to watch Bluey. You write what you like to watch in the blank. In practice number four, can we watch Toy Story? What needs to be capitalized? I bet you can complete this within 30 seconds. There's only two of them. All right, 30 seconds are on the clock. Ooh, not 30 minutes. 30 seconds. There we go. So what show do you like to watch? Make sure it's capitalized. And then what needs to be capitalized in number four? Awesome, let's talk about it. So you made sure to capitalize the name of the show that you like to watch. And in number four, can we watch Toy Story? Is there a title of a book? Is there a title of a movie? Yes, Toy Story. So Toy Story should be capitalized. Okay, we always capitalize the start of a sentence. Doesn't matter what word begins the sentence, we always capitalize the start. That's part of our swag. So in number one, is our last, when is our last day of school? Hmm, which word should be capitalized? Which word is the start of our sentence? When should be capitalized because it's the start of our sentence. I bet that you can do the next three and 30 seconds. Go ahead and capitalize the words that need to be capitalized in two, three, and four. Awesome, let's talk about it. It's time for lunch. What's the start of our sentence? The word it's starts our sentence, so it should be capitalized. Three, no throwing pencils. So no should be capitalized. Is summer class or is some summer almost here? Number four, if you capitalized is, then you're amazing. If you did not, you're still amazing. Just correct it, please. Okay, let's go over what mince means again. So M stands for Make sure you're tracking with your finger on your chart because you get to use this for your exit ticket. M stands for months, days of the weeks, and holidays. I stands for the pronoun I. N stands for names of specific people, places, and things. These are our proper nouns. T stands for titles of books, movies, and TV shows. S stands for the start of a sentence. All right, let's go ahead and go to our exit ticket. So, part C says, this is our exit ticket direction. Circle all the words that need a capital letter. So if it needs a capital letter, all you have to do is circle it. Color each cactus when you have found the number of words for that cactus's task. So these cactuses over here, it says that whenever you do this, you'll have five months, days, or holidays. And then over here, it says that you'll have 
three names of people, places, and things. Five titles of movies, um, books, and TV shows. Or even songs, which also goes with titles. You can add that here if you would like. And then four, start of sentences. So while you're going through this and you're all done, you can double check with the cacti to make sure you got it all right. Also, this exit ticket is on Teams. So please make sure that you complete this on Teams so that I can see how you're doing. Again, all you have to do is circle the words that need a capital letter. Awesome. I believe in you. If you need me, please, please, please reach out on Teams in the chat, on Blue Jeans, or even in Remind. Just ask your parents to contact me, please. Have a great day.